All right, so we're gonna do a little exercise because we wanna get people to know you. All right, so this is uh, my introduction post. So I've created this and I've shared it with so many students and I present on it all the time. This works every time. It is absolute gold, right? So here's just some examples. This was Jonah created this introduction post, third best post ever, right? 11 shares, uh, uh, Chip here, 13 shares from his post here. Jonathan, we look at his business page here, right? This is his other's po other post. This is his introduction post, purely organic. A thousand compared to less than a hundred. You know, we're looking at 30, 74, 145, over a thousand from this post. Here's another one. Um, this specifically, so I, I, they posted it. Michelle got a, an intro phone call just from this. Literally getting calls just from this one post. More stats from the introduction post. Here's another one did the introduction post, two new calls and two new assessments this week, just from this one post. Does this, do you think that this works? Do you yes. think that this is gonna work? Another one, Kelsey, right? My personal LinkedIn, this, she's a marketer, right? I've gotten so many people reaching out because of it as a role, I have two meetings scheduled for next week and other business owners who wanna learn more. It's amazing to see the impact it's having. It is that simple, but I'm gonna say this because I must not be screaming it loud enough. <laughs> I go to these events and I say, and I say, are you gonna do this? And everyone goes, yes. And then I connect with them on LinkedIn and they don't see the post. So are we gonna do this? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so we've got the time. This works. Here's the script. You've got the outline in your book. We're gonna fill it out right now in there. All right, fill in the blank. Now I'm gonna go over it real quick just so you can see. So and understand the strategy behind this, right? So the first one is I'd like to take a moment to reintroduce myself. Um, you can add an extra two dots. I love the dot, dot, dot personally. That's the hook. We're trying to draw people in to what it is that we do. Then we do two lines, right? Space, space, so that now it's easier to read. My name is blank and we blank, okay? This is very important. We want to focus on what problem we solve. We need to be able to say what we do in one to two sentences max, preferably one sentence, right? We can't believe, oh, well, we help with activities of living, which includes bathing and dressing and light housekeeping, right? That is not what, pe what you sell, right? You need to think about what problem is that solving? whether it's you know, freedom, peace of mind, right? Understanding what home care can do for the individuals that you are serving. And so we wanna focus on that problem we solve. Then we wanna go into, it is our mission to blank and share what your mission is. So this can vary based on, you know, this can either be your, you know, like if you're part of a franchise and just do the franchise mission, it can be your own personal mission that you have. Just, you know, I wanna help as many seniors as possible get the care that they want. I wanna be a resource for education for this industry so people just can make the best possible decisions, right? Whatever that mission is to you in that personal aspect. And then also when I'm not serving seniors, I enjoy blank. And then this is that opportunity to really talk a little bit more about what it is that we like to do, right? That personal touch. You wanna be specific also. So don't say I like eating food, right? Say you like eating sushi, you know, by the beach or whatever it may be. So if you like movies, what kind of movies do you like? If you like books, do you like mysteries, right? Do you like personal development? Be specific in what you like, all right? When we're posting this, now I know, I, I wanna be very direct about this too. The, the, a lot of the examples that I showed, cause I've just collected a lot of great examples over the years. The ones with have the logo and the graphics, I don't recommend. They had all that success, I still don't recommend it. It's going to do even better if it's just a headshot, just a photo, you don't need to design it, you don't need to put anything on it, just a photo of you. And part of that is just understanding how social media is consumed. Because as soon as you put a logo on it, what does it tell people? Oh, this is business. Oh, they're selling me something. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> if you just put the photo, it's going to be so much more impactful. If you follow this script and you post this on your social media, I guarantee 
it will create some result. Whether it's a meeting, a referral, some type of business just from this post. We're just letting people know. This is what we do. It's okay. I get the fear. I understand because you know those people, right? And I'm gonna use my, my mom shared this story a while, a, a few years ago. There was one of her friends was just constantly posting about like this business that she had. And just like, where my mom was like, oh my gosh, like enough already. Unfollowed her. And then what had happened was her, one of her, her mother passed away. And my mom didn't know because she stopped following her because she was, and she was so, my mom was upset because her friend now, like she didn't get that important information. The, the goal is that you're still sharing your personal things. We just want to be like, by the way, this is what I do. Me, 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 me. Oh, by the way, this is what I do, right? We're mixing it in to it just so people see what we, we are as a person. And then boom, now reminding people what is that we do and how we help people. Now, when it comes to scheduling this, one of the coolest features with LinkedIn that they just got, well, it's not that new anymore, but you're able to schedule right onto the platform. Makes it super easy. I recommend scheduling it for the early morning, 8.30 or eight o'clock, nine o'clock, to schedule that post sometime during the week. All right? So what I want you to do right now, whether it's on your calendar or whether it is in your book, is write down when are you going to create this post and schedule it. Also, what's great about this is you can do this post every six months or more. You just tweak it, change a little, change the photo, and keep the whole general script, and it will still continue to work. I've, I've done the, the post probably close to 10 times now, and every time it's still one of my highest performing posts. And I share a lot more than most people. It works.